the Philippine Navy saw the importance of having landing platform dock for its sea lift and amphibious capabilities to transport troops using its landing craft utility and rigid hull inflatable crafts. The Philippine Navy once again embarked in landing docks acquisition project, the same project from the Philippine Navy's strategic sea lift vessel acquisition project under Horizon 1 phase. The landing docks acquisition project, acquiring two units of landing platform docks, four units of landing craft utility, four units of rigid hull inflatable crafts and integrated logistics support package. Under Horizon 2 phase priority projects of the revised AFP modernization program, with an approved budget for contract worth 5 billion 560 million Philippine peso to be acquired through public bidding. The landing docks acquisition project underwent three failed biddings from August 2019, September 2019 and December 2020. The Philippine Navy wants its two units of landing platform docks able to operate to up to sea state 6 or very rough sea of up to 6 meters, able to launch two landing craft utilities and can able to accommodate two units of 10-ton helicopters in the helideck. Both ships shall have at least 120 meters long, a breadth of at least 21 meters, displacement of at least 7,200 tons. With a cruising speed of at least 13 knots, maximum speed of 16 knots and a maximum range of at least 9,000 nautical miles without refueling. The Philippine Navy also required two collapsible cradles for two MPAC MK-3, storage for up to 24 rounds of Spiker missiles, 48 rounds Spike N loss missile and 48 pieces of 2.75 inches of aerial rockets and a space fitted for at least eight amphibious assault vehicles. Ships shall have space and munition storage for future weapons like 76mm guns, 30mm guns, close-in weapons systems and decoy launching systems, powered by two main propulsion diesel engines and has a capability to replenish at sea using Stenag 1065 standards. Lastly, both ships shall have X and S band solid state navigation radars, forward looking infrared camera and armed with 8.50 caliber machine guns with mounts. The Philippine Navy also wants the proponents to build one of the ships in the Philippines, granting the Philippine Navy the ownership of the design or allow license production of the design. The Philippine Navy only have a few months to award the contract or the project will be cancelled or shelves for the next administration, 